Hey, Joseph, what a ride. Am I right? <laughs> oh, my God, Kat. This season was fucking nuts. So I saw you post on Instagram that your mm-hmm. hubris got in the way and that mm-hmm. your your perception of the game was much different than what was actually happening. That's my favorite thing about Big Brother. I have to know, what did you think was going on in the game while you were there? I thought... I think that some things I was right about and then some things I was maybe wrong about. Um, I think like I knew that the collective was like definitely a thing after the third week. And I kind of brought everybody upstairs to make it. I actually knew that it was more ambiguous than people seem to give me credit for. Like I knew the second week that it was kind of an ambiguous alliance. Like we didn't, re- nobody really knew whether or not it was real. Um I can't think of anything I didn't know off the top of my head. Somebody else asked me that, and it's not that I knew everything, but I just literally can't think. There's so much info that I've, like, consumed that I was like, oh, I was wrong about that. Oh, I was right about that. You know what I mean? So I just can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Okay. Was there anything shocking when you got out of the house that you realized, like, whoa, I didn't know that was going on? Or maybe, like, oh, I didn't know that America thought that or, you know, anything shocking? Um, I'm trying to think. I, I was surprised, like, how how like heavily featured uh Quinn was in the episode like he I like I was like oh man and I didn't know how that situation with him and Angela with the argument in the backyard I didn't know how that had played out at all because we all heard that or at least I heard it secondhand that was that was a lot of things it was like a lot of um I tried to stay away from all the fights this season like I would be like somewhere else and try to avoid it and so, like, seeing Tucker and Brooklyn go at it, seeing Tucker go at it with Cedric, seeing basically my final two from day five go at it with, like, half the house, and I would always have to hear about it secondhand. So getting to watch it uh, was pretty cool. So speaking of Tucker, you got Twitter in a frenzy because mm-hmm. it was your interview with Entertainment Tonight, maybe last week, where you yeah. talked about some situation with Tucker and Chelsea. And um, I guess, what could you elaborate on that a little bit more just to keep some... No, I can't. That's not my story to tell. And I had a big mouth the other day when I said that, and I shouldn't have said anything, so... Well, that's okay. So you did talk to Tucker, though, after you got out of the house. I saw that that was one of the first conversations that you had. Were mm-hmm. y'all, what did y'all talk about? Were y'all able to, like, debrief at all? Uh, we talked about how we felt about the people in the house, uh, <laughs> and things that we were annoyed by and, uh, what we're going to do, uh, when, you know, I visit him in Brooklyn at some point, uh, you know, we're both film nerds, so I'm sure we'll film something, go to a movie, hold hands, kiss, who knows. Speaking of Brooklyn, okay. Did you find out, does Brooklyn really know your brother? I didn't think this would be such a big thing that, that like people, uh, I never thought Brooklyn knew my brother, like in the house. Like that was one thing that I feel like people misconstrued because my, my brother was like, oh, Brooklyn said we were besties in the house. I'm like, Brooklyn was definitely joking about that when she said that, because we would joke about it like all the time. Like, oh, you and my brother were best friends, blah, 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 blah. They went to the same high school together. Don't think they knew each other. I that is crazy. It. That is crazy. Yeah. That they went to the same high school together, right? Like, isn't that? <laughs> it, was, it was fucking nuts. Yeah. When she told me, I freaked out. I was like, what? Like, I freaked Like, I was like, and then she told me, like, the day she left that they were in, like, the same play together. That was, like, when I was like, that's, this is fucking weird, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you're on the Truman Show. <laughs> right. No, the whole thing was very simulation like. Well, now that you've gotten out of the house, what's next for you? Um, I'm not, I'm not like an influence. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like, I'll do cameos to, like, make an extra buck or something like that. Uh, work on my art and stuff like that. Go back to the video store. You know, I just, I, I wanted to play the game of Big Brother. Like, that's why I went on this show, to, like, play the game and get to experience it and everything like that Every, anything else is gravy you know what i mean but really i just came on the show to i'm like one of the only people who came on the show who didn't have like any followers like going into the show it seems like everybody else there uh like had a following and was really working at it and good for them but yeah that's just not for me so was big brother everything you thought it was gonna be it was like so intense and hard that is what i did not like like obviously you hear from people like oh it's so hard blah 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 blah. but it's not until you're in there and you're just like what everybody hates me everybody's coming after me everybody's like you know what i mean and you like have these uh oh like okay so one thing i was always paranoid about was like the first week i always thought like angela for instance was gonna put me up because i figured that matt 
would run upstairs to tell her like, Hey, we got to get Joseph out. Like, you know, he's running back and forth between me and you and you know, doing all this stuff. And then later on, I found out that she was like, I never would have done that. You know what I mean? And I was just like, Oh, so I was like paranoid for no reason. So like, you know, things like that, you don't kind of expect like how much the paranoia can get to you. And like the moral duality of it all where you're like, man, I really do have to scumbag this person, like in order to like bring myself forward. And it's like, I feel like a terrible person. Like, you know, I didn't think I would have those like moral conflicts. And when they would appear, it, it kind of cut me deeper than I thought it would. Well, you were really fun to watch. I was sad when you got evicted. <laughs> For what Thank you, Kat. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. And have fun with the rest of your press interviews. <laughs> I, I probably won't all right bye <laughs> bye i actually don't know how to stop this oh wait there it goes <laughs>